यो कैसन मानी ठीक बानी ना आज हम बात करने वाले लेटेस्ट अपडेट 1.2 वर्जन में क्या सब आने वाला है वीडियो में आगे बढ़ने से पहले लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन को चबा जाओ एकदम खतरनाक अपडेट 26 सितंबर को आने वाली है कटाना को इनहेंस कर दिया गया है और उसके मारने का तरीका कुछ अलग नेक्स्ट लेवल के हो गए लास्ट अपडेट में पायरो वाली स्किन आई थी बाइक की अभी वन अपडेट में कार की भी स्किन आ रही है नाम है स्पीडी विंग ब्लू आर एंड सिल्वर कलर में कितना जबरदस्त लग रही है ना एक गिफ्ट है आप सभी के लिए स्टार क्रोम रिडीम को इंटर योर रिडीम कोड जैसे हम कर रहे हैं वैसे आप लोग भी कर लीजिए फटाफट 500 हंड्रेड स्टार क्रो मिल गया ये हुरे। एक और रिडीम कोड है वो वीडियो के लास्ट में मिलेगा और अपडेट के बारे में जल्दी से आप लोगों को बताते हैं लूट क्रिएट में बहुत कुछ मिलने वाला है ओनली कार की स्किन नहीं उसके साथ बहुत चीज आउटफिट वगैरह सब जस्ट लाइक आउटफिट वेयर म्यूजिक फ्रेंची पैक पैक्स और गन की स्किन ये सब एक न्यू डेविएशन आने वाला है जिसका नाम है प्रिज्म डेविएशन एंड एक प्रिज्म सीनेरियो भी आ रहा है जरा सा एक क्लिप देख लो सब कुछ समझ में आ जाएगा Prism vs Clash has fewer phases, four to be precise. Other than starting settlement phase, all other scenario phases have been shortened to 19 days. This will greatly reduce the preparation period, meaning you'll get a pure PvP combat experience from the very first day of the season in the wilderness. Multiple contest areas have been marked where you can engage in PVP either solo or alongside your friends. Furthermore, you won't drop any gear or resources if you're defeated in Prism vs Clash, so you can go all out in PVP without worrying about losing important items. Hearing what new challenges Prism vs Clash has to offer. That's why I'm here. Let me tell you all about this new scenario. Now, how is the winning faction determined? Prism deviations are the key to victory in Prism vs Clash. Fight over them in the wilderness and secure them to earn Prism energy for your faction. The faction with the most Prism energy by the end of the scenario wins. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world are Prism deviations? And how do they differ from regular deviations in existing scenarios? Prism deviations are special deviations with unique attributes that can be found throughout the world. Prism deviation provides a different amount of prism energy depending on its rarity. Certain deviations, such as Electric Eel and the Digby Boy, will be converted into prism deviations. Two new prism deviations will also be introduced in this scenario. Berserkosaurus Rex and the Radiant One, which are so rare that securing one will earn your faction a massive amount of prism energy. But how am I supposed to find these prism deviations, you ask? They can be obtained by fishing and gathering in contest areas or by participating in public crisis events. That's not all though. You can also attack the opposing faction and seize their hard-earned prism deviations for yourself and your faction. The next question is, how do you secure a prism deviation after obtaining it? I've prepared a securement guide. So please note the following pointers. 1. You must be in a contest area to secure a prism deviation. 2. Prism deviations take different amounts of time to secure depending on their rarity. 3. If you teleport, enter a safe zone, are defeated by another player, or enter a dungeon while carrying a prism deviation in your backpack, the prism deviation will escape and return to the contest area. Prism deviations will also escape if held in a securement facility in your territory. and the facility is destroyed before securement is complete therefore you should team up and defend prism deviations while they are being secured if you are confident enough you can even collect multiple prism deviations and secure them all at once but you'll have to be careful carrying a prism deviation will reveal your location to the opposing faction and the more prism deviations you have the more exposed you'll be 
Having been through the basic rules during this time, only four regions in the wilderness will be accessible. Mayfly Base, Safe Zone, Rosetta Base, Safe Zone, the Public Safe Zone, and Central Blackfell Contest Area. You can think of this phase as a warm-up period, during which you can familiarize yourself with the rules of the Faction War, as well as try out game modes like Public Crisis Events, Securement Silos, and Monoliths. The second phase, Clash at Blackfell, lasts for seven days and represents the peak of the Faction War. During this phase, the Western Blackfell Contest Area will become accessible, enlarging the theater of conflict. Public crisis events, securement silos, and monoliths on hard mode will also become available. The third phase, the last stand, lasts for seven days and will be decisive in determining the outcome of the Faction War. Eastern Blackfell Contest Area and Pro Mode Dungeons will con available during this phase. Different incidents will also occur during each phase of the scenario. What kind of impact will they have on the battlefield? You'll have to find out for yourself. Now, I'm sure you'd like to know about what kind of rewards you'll be getting for your contributions to your faction during this season. Firstly, unlike Evolution's Call, there are no war bands in Prism vs. Clash, so seasonal rewards are tied to your faction instead. If your faction accumulates the requisite amount of Prism energy, all members will receive Star Chromes as a reward. You can also complete individual season goals during each phase to earn rewards, including Legacy of Conflict Loot Crates, Star Chromes, and more. Individual players in each faction will be ranked based on their contribution during each phase. अभी तक की सबसे मजेदार अपडेट है कमेंट बॉक्स में जरूर बताइएगा और लाइक भी करने का 26 सितंबर को वंस वुमेन मोबाइल एंड अपडेट दोनों साथ में आ रही है वंस मोर रिडीम कोड जल्दी से आप लोग रिडीम कर लो तो आज के लिए बस इतना ही मिलते हैं किसी नई वीडियो में तब तक लेट टाटा बाय बाय टेक केयर